channel. I am pre-filming a lot of videos for Vlogmas, as you guys have seen. Surprise, surprise, I'm wearing the same, you know, makeup and hair look, as always, because I hate my hair currently. It's currently November 18th as I'm filming these videos, but I needed to get some stuff pre-filmed so we were prepared for Vlogmas. Today, um, I am... One, really prepared, and two, gonna be sharing with you guys my best purchases of 2019. I did some research amongst my peers to see if they had any other things that I rave about. I'm the friend that makes every other friend buy stuff. Like, I'm like the influence, like, online, but also like in my friend group kind of thing. So I asked them and they gave me some other ones that I was like, oh, that was a great buy, you know? I have a list on my laptop that I made of my best purchases of 2019. Um, I hope you guys, one, are enjoying Vlogmas. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kinsey. I make lifestyle vlogs, lifestyle videos. I'm uploading every single day until, until December 26th and I would love for you guys to stick around. Um, I also am constantly posting other things on my Instagram. Um, of new product recommendations, I always link, like stuff like that. Also, if you guys are into holiday gift guides, I have so many on my Instagram story this month. So follow my Instagram, check out my highlights, they're all gonna be there. And be sure to subscribe so you guys can stick around for the whole holiday experience over on Kenzie Elizabeth. I will link down below my Vlogmas playlist too so you guys can start from the beginning if you want. So I have some items that I've purchased in 2019 that were really great buys that I feel like were great investments, great pieces to buy, things that I just like naturally gravitate towards. Things that I just don't regret, you know, which let's face it, that happens to a lot of us. So as always, I will have all these products linked down below. Um, if you guys, I feel like this is also good for like maybe a what I want for Christmas video or a holiday gift guide or whatever. So I'll have them all linked down below. Let me know if you guys picked up anything. And before this video even starts or before we really get into it, I would love for you guys to comment down below your best purchase in 2019, something that you've got the most use out of. I love your recommendations. I love hearing from you guys. This is truly a community. And we're all just a really big, happy, nice, inclusive friend group over here, especially on the secret Facebook group. So join that if you guys haven't already. But we're gonna get into the video. I have a lot of energy as I'm filming this. Where did my Starbucks go? It's over there. I'm not gonna be too lazy to get up. So it's not happening. Okay, number one. This is really annoying. I'm not gonna get super into it, but my Hot Pilates membership, it's a lot of money. It's really expensive. I'm not gonna lie. It's like more expensive than like most Equinox gyms and stuff. But honestly, it has made the biggest positive impact in my life. It's like one of my favorite things I do. It's more than just like my workout routine now. It's like a hobby. Something that I genuinely love so much that just makes me a better person. I'm the most fit and the most toned I've ever been. My body looks better than ever. And it's all because of Hot Pilates. And I also love the community there. I love the girls who work the front desk. I love the teachers. I just love everyone. I actually want to have my favorite teacher on my podcast. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my podcast. It's linked down below. I feel like if you guys like my videos, you guys would love the podcast. It's my pride and joy. So yeah, my Hot Pilates membership. Yes, I pay a god awful amount of money for it, but it is worth every penny. Number two. Okay, so I got a pair of Levi's. Um, I got two pairs, but the one I'm going to talk about is the straight... Cage, leg, cage, straight. I'm having all this link down below, so it doesn't even matter if I mess up the words. Um, but these are so great. They're so flattering. I love them. The quality is amazing. I love how they fit. I honestly want to get them in different washes, and I also need to get them maybe a size down at this point. But they're the best jeans. You guys ask me all the time which ones I have, and I've answered it so many times, but um, I'll have it linked down below. Seriously, like, the best, literally the best ever. Next thing I have is my Cover Labs phone case. So, the beginning of this year, I ordered a phone case on the Daily Edit. I think that's how it is. It was like $100. It was the red one that had my initials on it. And honestly, like, it didn't hold up. It got brown on the edges. I don't know if it's because I wasn't taking care of it or because I got red or whatever. I actually really like the Daily Edit. But then I went on Cover Labs and I had like two phone cases custom made for half the price that I spent on the one on the daily edit. I got KP and then I got another one that says Piper. I haven't even switched to the Piper one yet. Um, I think it's super cute. Like a phone case is just like a nice way to kind of like dress up a look. I know that sounds stupid, but you always have your phone out. So I just love having a nice phone case. I love personalized things. I love like, I love my initials as KP because I think I'm Kim Possible, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just like love that. I think it's so cool. It's so fun and it was such an amazing price I'm the biggest fan of cover labs and I think they're really great for gifts So love that the next thing I got is actually something I need to pick up today I have to repurchase but the Becca priming backlit primer Yeah, 
Um, Molly recommended this to me. She had me buy it in Boston and I was with her and tell me how I somehow originally bought the wrong one But then I took it back to Sephora and exchanged it Which is something I normally don't do because I always forget to do that stuff So I was proud of myself to even start off with this whole product buying thing And then I got the right one and I started using it and it's amazing I'm not using it today because I'm out. That's why I have to go fix them up But it is the best primer and makes your skin glow. It's really great for photos It's just amazing. Honestly, you could even wear the primer with nothing on your skin and your skin just like automatically looks so much better. So I love that. Big, big, big fan. Next thing I have is my Isle of Paradise self tanner. I personally like the mousse one better. I have it in medium. It's the most natural glow, not streaky, so easy. I even really like the Isle of Paradise mint. I think that's the best mint that I've used. Um, yeah, it doesn't have this like crazy bad smell. It doesn't make you look too crazy. It's a very, very natural glow. And if you guys are in the self tanning world looking to kind of dabble in it, um, I would recommend that even before like Loving Tan or Saint Tropez just for beginners because it's not as scary to use. There's also the water, which I like the water, but the water is kind of scary because to me, I'm like, where is this going on my body? Like I have the water, but I like the mousse a lot better just because I'm more familiar with the mousse and it's easier to tell where it is on my body and all that stuff. Um, with that being said, I love the Saint Tropez self tanner, the deluxe one. That's probably my all time fave and I love Loving Tan, but right now I have a huge package from them and it's in like dark and like that's way too dark for me, so I can't use it, but yeah. Next thing I have, my Aritzia Boyfriend Sweats. I'm wearing the Boyfriend Sweats. I meant to say Aritzia Boyfriend Sets, and by that I meant the sweats and the hoodies. They're the best. Um, I have so many. I wear them all the time. I have a gray one, and then I also have a green one, like a lime bright green one. I want more colors, honestly. So comfortable, the Boyfriend Sweats I have on right now. They're so soft, like you have no idea. I don't even know how to describe it to you guys. Like I've talked about them in so many videos, but they're amazing. Um, and something that I really have done this year that I think was a really good decision on my end is I've invested in better loungewear, like better sweats. One, sweats are in, so it made it easier, but two, like, I actually wear that the most, like that's more my style, so it makes more sense for me to spend more money on that stuff when I wear it the most and I get the use, most use out of it rather than like something nicer that I'm gonna wear like once every three months, you know? So I think for me personally, it's really worth it to buy nice sweats and nice hoodies because it also makes you look more put together and it's really like chic and cute, you know? And my next thing is my Outdoor Voices sweats. So these sweats, if you guys are asking for the difference because I rave about both of these, the Outdoor Voices are nicer looking, they're really comfortable still, they're more Yeezy style, not really sweatpants style. So the Aritzia ones are more sweatpants style and the like outdoor voices are a little bit more jogger, more like stylish, if that makes any sense. So it just depends on your preference. I love both of them. I have the outdoor voices ones in black and gray, and then I have the Aritzia ones in gray and lime green. Um, but the outdoor voices sweats, I love them. I bought them when I was in Boston in August, and I think that they're just like the perfect fit. With that being said, they stretch out in the butt pretty easily, which I think is annoying, because you know when you wear sweats and they kind of stretch out? So maybe go a size down, but I get them in a size small. But, um, love those, really, really great buys. My next one, also something I'm wearing, my Yeezys. Um, I have the 700s in analog, like, right here. <laughs> um, this is the first pair of like sneakers I think I bought over like $200, I think. Like, they were a little bit more expensive. I got them on GOAT, and I love them. Like, big, big fan. I wear them all the time, like, legitimately all the time. They're so gross, like, I need to get them professionally cleaned. But I love them. I want more Yeezys because I just wear them all the time. Again, like my go-to style every day is like sweats and sneakers and stuff like that. Like I love that look and hoops, you know, as you can see. I love that look so much. So for me, it's definitely worth it to invest in nicer pieces rather than buy a bunch. The way that I look at this is that like especially, okay, like you look at a hoodie that's 60 to $80. I'm going to buy a hoodie like, I keep buying until I find the perfect fit. So I'm gonna buy maybe three or four cheaper hoodies, which actually is gonna end up in turn being more expensive than the one hoodie that I found that's the perfect fit. So I actually save money in the long run, you know, cause I know myself. So yeah, that's just how I feel about like buying nicer um, stuff. Not that it's like crazy and breaking the bank, but I do recognize it's like a little bit like more of a premium price. But for me personally, it's definitely worth it as I have just gone through so many clothes and like I'm constantly going through my closet at all times because I get a lot of stuff sent to me too. So I'm like, I don't wanna buy something that I'm just gonna get rid of in a month. Like I don't do that anymore. So I only buy like nice things that I know are gonna like enhance my wardrobe. Cause if not, I'm like, it's just not worth it. 
Next thing, my Ugg slippers. I literally have talked about these in the past three videos that I have filmed. Um, they're the best. I am a person, I've worn a pair of Ugg slippers every single day for the past probably eight years of my life. I'm the biggest fan of Ugg. Literally couldn't be a bigger fan. Um, but as we speak right now, I'm like buying more online for my, for my friend, but they're the best. I love the ones with the strap on the back. I've always had the classic, the ones with the strap are like a nice little fun twist, a little bit different. I also got these in Boston. Molly and I got matching ones. I just think they're so cute. I actually also got a pair for my niece, my little cute niece, Sophie, that I love so much. <laughs> Can't wait for her to be in the vlogs, um, but I love her and I got her a pair so she can match with me I don't even know if she's gonna like them, but like I'll just be satisfied with the fact that we're matching, you know But they're amazing. Um, I wear them every single day Every single item that I'm talking about is something that I pretty much use every single day With the exception of the self tanner because I don't self tan every day Everything else I literally use it almost every single day. My next thing are my Aritzia biker shorts These are the best fitting biker shorts ever. I'm so passionate about the TNA line from Aritzia. As you guys know, this was the year of Aritzia for me. Um, I found Aritzia, my entire church shops at Aritzia. That's like really how I found out. I think a lot of people like, are like, oh, you found that from so-and-so. It's like my church has been at Aritzia. Like that's all they wear. Also, a lot of the style inspo is not necessarily from influencers. Majority of it is from Hailey Bieber. So like people just get so like, whatever. Anyways, I've been into Aritzia. I just didn't talk about it on my channel that much because like felt like no one really talked about Aritzia for some reason. I don't really know why. It wasn't until I got into the TNA line that I became obsessed with them though, I will say. But the Aritzia biker shorts are the best. I like the seven inch or the nine inch. Um, they're the best. Literally nothing is wrong with them. They're just the best. They're so flattering, make your butt look so good, make your legs look so good. Big fan. The next thing I have is a book. So I got this 40 day prayer Devo. It's like circle, draw the circle, 40 day prayer challenge. I'm probably getting that wrong. It's on my Amazon shop page. Literally the best devotional book I've ever done. If you guys don't know what a devotion book is, it's like a few pages that you can read. This one in particular is like a short read, maybe a five to 10 minute read. You just read it every single day at some point for 40 days. Literally will change your life. So good. If you guys are looking for a new Devo book, cannot recommend that to you enough. My friend Amanda Madu posted like all of her Instagram story and was raving about it. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because she loves it. And it was like one of the best buys I've made all of 2019. So good. I'm just gonna continue to like re like go through it and go through it and go through it again. Um, and I'm just gonna get it honestly for a lot of people in my life. I think I'm gonna order like 10 of them and then just give them out because they're just so freaking amazing. It's the best devotion book I've ever done, ever. My next thing that I purchased this year was my new vlog camera, the camera that I'm actually filming on now, the Canon M50, and then I have the 55 millimeter lens. I'm like looking at my lens as I do that. So I'll have them on my Amazon shop page. I already do, always, under my camera equipment. If you guys are trying to get into YouTube, if you guys vlog, if you guys do any of that stuff, I cannot say enough good things about this camera, the setup. It's a little bit bigger, but it's not too crazy big. I feel like it's really up to my vlog quality. I feel like it makes me like more excited to film too. And I like that it's wide angled. Um, yeah, it's just better. It's like a step up from the G7X and I love it. Alicia and Remy are who I got the inspo from. They told me everything. They thought this is the camera that they use, I'm pretty sure. It is, not I'm pretty sure, that's why I bought it. And they were, we were recording a podcast in the studio and they were like, this is so much better and I was looking at theirs versus mine and I was like, you're right, it's so much better. So I invested into my business and I bought a new vlog camera and I'm the biggest fan, so I love it. The next thing would be my bags from The Real Real. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or watch my vlogs or anything, you guys would know that I picked up a Louis Vuitton bag and a Fendi bag. So the Fendi side bag that I got, so cute. Oh my gosh, first off, these two bags, I love bags, that's like my weakness, like I just freaking love a good purse. Um, and The Real Real is a high-end consignment, so it's like, you get discounted rates because it's like a used like designer luxury bag and whatever. Um, and like the first time you buy a nice luxury bag, like I wanted to go to Barney's and buy it, R.A.P. Barney's, um, because like that's what I love so much and like I have the experience and stuff and now I'm just like over the experience. I don't care, I wanna be like smart and practical. Um, so the Louis Vuitton bag that I got, I'll just say the price, this was like 500. Definitely expensive. Like I'm not saying that this is cheap, but in comparison to what you would normally send for a Louis bag, very good price. And the Fendi bag that I got was 350. Also expensive. I recognize that. But what I am saying is that in comparison to Fendi, that is a really good price. Um, I alternate between those two bags every single day. They are the absolute best bags. Like I just die for them. I love them so much. And yeah, I'm a big fan of the Real Real. I've become a big the Real Real girl this this year. My last thing that I'm gonna talk about are these hoops. <laughs> I wear them every single day almost, and if I don't wear them, I wear my other Jennifer Fisher hoops. So 
I believe these are the baby Samira hoops or the mini. I always get confused. They're the ones that were $300. I will have them linked below. Um, yes, they're pricey, but I had worn hoops every single day for like a year, year and a half before that. So I'm like, I think it's time to really invest in nice ones. Cause like it got to the point where like mine were just kind of gross. And I was like, okay, I wear them every day. Again, like I said, I want to invest. So I bought them and I was like, I really hope I don't regret this. And I've not regretted them one time. They're so light. You can't feel them. You never like, sometimes I feel like with other earrings, they're so heavy. You have to take them out. You don't even feel that you're wearing them. I want 15 more pairs. I'm a Jennifer Fisher girl for the rest of my life. And then I also have the baby Huggies. Those are like only a hundred or like they're 95. Obviously not only, but they're pricier, but they're nicer jewelry and you get what you pay for and they're just the best and I don't regret that at all. So that is it for my best purchases of 2019 video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, I'll have everything down below. I love you guys. I love Vlogmas. I just love uploading every day and I really hope you guys are enjoying. But yeah, with all that being said, I will let you guys go so I don't keep talking. But subscribe if you guys are new here. Follow me on Instagram. Tell me what your best buy of 2019 was down below. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.